Hey, what's up YouTube? This is Mr. Caro, and today I'm going to be doing an update video on my uh, bow constrictor and his uh, habitat and also him, how much he's grown over the years. I've been getting a lot of requests for an update, so I just thought I'd do one so everybody could see how big these guys get and how fast they grow. And specifically, uh, my guy's a male. His name is Pickles. He's this uh, male Colombian boa, just a standard boa. And um, before I had a Sterilite tub that he uh, spent some some time in, but once he uh, once I felt he outgrew it, he could use some more room. Basically, what you're looking at here, uh, I made myself. This will save you hundreds and hundreds of dollars on uh, large snake habitats. What I did was um, I went to Home Depot. They have a bunch of these large unfinished cabinets that you could get. Can't remember how much I paid for it, but basically what I bought was just one unfinished cabinet, which you see right here. Got some uh, got some screen, which you uh, see right in the front. Got a couple of uh, hinges. Well, the bottom is a hinge or a, a lock. The top is actually a key lock. And um, so what I did was, first of all, there was a there used to be a sliding cabinet up here. Um, I took that out and I removed the front part, uh, put some screws in it just to uh, free up the top. And what I did was inside, okay, so here, I'm going to open this up so we could get a better look in here. Because you want to make sure you secure it bottom and top because these guys are pretty strong. And so, yeah, on the top here, I have screen that is uh, covering the uh, top so we can't get out. And then uh, as far as the light goes, I have uh, a dual light. Uh, it could be switched to um, this red light that I uh, put on at night. And then this is what I have during the day. Keeps it uh, a good temperature. Haven't done any temperature readings, but I mean, he, he does pretty well in here. And then um, this, this was just part of the cabinet, the second level. Sometimes he likes climbing up there. And um, as far as the bottom of this goes... It was uh, wood, so I, I had to figure out something I was going to do because we didn't want any uh, snake pee being absorbed into the actual wood cabinet. So underneath this, underneath this newspaper, I got this tiling that I did. So this is all, this is all tiling that I put in. It was, uh, it was really easy. Just had to make some cuts, and it's just like you pull off the bottom part of the uh, tiles, and they just stick right down. So everything worked out with that. These used to be... Uh, completely wood covered so I just um, broke out the center wood part and then I cut out the screens and just used um, a little staple gun to uh, secure them on both sides and then um, as far as these hinges go this is just the standard like door lock you could get really cheap at Home Depot as well as this right here just I mean if I really wanted to uh, keep somebody from going in I guess I could like lock it and take the key out but I usually just leave the key in there and it just acts as a another way to keep this thing uh, closed and very secure so um, as far as the uh, substrate goes I had Aspen and the biggest problem with this was whenever I was trying to get him out he would uh, basically pull out half of the Aspen with him and it was just, it was becoming uh, too messy and it almost discouraged me from taking them out at times. So I recently got rid of all of it, vacuumed out all the dust that it left and uh, just laid down some newspapers. And they do, they do well with newspapers. And this is just a big water bowl, little uh, climbing thing right here. And <laughs> this, this box, um, once I took out the aspen, I was like, okay, he usually burrows in that. So he got to give him a good place to hide. So I just took this box. I'll probably buy a, a legitimate snake hide eventually, but this is just temporary. And um, as far as my boa constrictor goes, I had him sexed when uh, I first got him, and he's a male. So uh, as most of you know, the males do not get uh, quite as large as the females. Because I wanted a big snake, but I didn't want to overdo it. So I think uh, he's the perfect size. I'm going to have to check when I posted the last video. Uh, how many years went by but basically let's just take him out right now is not the ideal time to be handling him because 
his uh, eyes are fogging over, so he's going to go into a shed. But so yeah, here's a guy. As far as personality goes, throughout his whole entire life, I've never had him strike at me once. I don't think he's ever hissed at me, gotten aggressive. I mean, it's people kind of, um, there's a stigma to these big snakes because sure, they look scary and yeah, they could do some damage, but it's, it's really depending on the snake's personality and the ownership. The key thing is you want to handle these guys throughout their lives. You don't, <laughs> this is a key thing. Some of the snakes, you could just, you know, throw a rat, rat in their, um, in their cage and just have them eat in their cage. But with these big snakes that could actually do some damage, you don't want them to get cage aggressive and you don't want him to think he's about to eat every single time, you know, something goes in his cage. So what I normally do is I'll take them out and I'll put them in this, this pretty big tub and then I'll just put a rat in there. <laughs> Man, this guy is so good. He won't even strike his, uh, I, f I feed him frozen, never live, but he will not even strike his food. Um, basically what I'll have to do is just, you know, put the rat in there with him and then I'll come back in like an hour and then sure enough, he'll, uh, he'll eat the rat, but he will not strike at it. He is not aggressive at all. He, if he could, um, not bite, he will not bite. And uh, I haven't done a, I haven't measured him, but I just thought, you know, for the sake of this video, I got this tape measure right here and you know I'd like to find out how big he is right now too so let me just take him out and just like I said you know I wouldn't normally be handling him right now since he's about to go into his shed but I just thought like man it's been it's been too long I've been meaning to do an update video so what you want to do is just grab him like this he usually tries grabbing on the thing like yeah exactly so I just take this out you know he just has a fear of falling you know. Okay, so here's a guy right here. He uh, he's gotten to the point where I could touch his head and he's okay with that. Cause most snakes, uh, that really shows how friendly they are. Because most snakes do not like it when you touch their heads. But this guy has gotten that used to me, and he's just really peaceful. And right now I'm gonna play him out on this bed. Have him stretch out, get a good measurement. Okay. All right, so here we go, let's see, let's see what he looks like. So yeah, I mean, he, he's pretty big now. My parents are afraid of him, but for no reason. Like, he, he's never done anything to uh, deserve any, uh, any fear, other than just the way he looks and his size. Let me, uh, shit, where am I gonna put this camera? Hmm. Should have planned this out. Here, I'm gonna put this over here so, so you guys can see me measure him. Right. Yeah, I hope that works. Hope you guys can see it. This is gonna be a rough estimate because I don't know if he's gonna stretch all the way out for me. Okay. Let's get that tail up, bud. I'm trying to grip. He always grabs onto things. Whatever his tail could grab onto, he's gonna. So, like, alright. His tail. Yeah, man, he is about the length of this bed. Here, stretch out, bud. Stretch out for me, dude. All right, I, yeah. I'm going to have to do some estimating. But, okay, say he's he's about a little over the length of this bed. So, I'd say he's about, about this long. And, yeah, so 80 inches. So, 80 inches is where he's at right now. As far as girth goes, let me see if I could wrap my, uh, yeah, see, I can't even, I can't, even, it's about, I'd say, I got, I got pretty decent sized hands, he's about that thick. What am I, what I'm feeding him now are, uh, usually large rats and maybe, maybe a jumbo rat, like, he don't want to, it'd be a small jumbo rat, depending on what the pet store is, uh, supplying, but... These guys, they make great pets. I feed them like, you know, once every two weeks. They, they're they just very low maintenance. But boy, when they take a shit, it is like, it's like a big dog. And they just like kind of drain their bodies. But that's like once a month, honestly, that he's pooping. And he, he always sheds in one piece. I've never had any shedding problems. 
and I don't even I don't even specifically keep it humid in there. And he just, I mean, it, probably within a week, I mean, his eyes are just fogging over, so he's just beginning to shed cycle. But yeah, I mean, this is pickles, a great boa constrictor. He's like, I'd say like four years old. About I heard snakes uh, of this species kind of stop growing around when they're five, maybe six years old. So he won't get too much bigger, and I, I really do think he's the perfect size snake. And I'm going off to college, so I already got rid of my corn snake. And I'm I'm in the process of selling my pinstripe ball python. But this guy I can't get rid of. I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to teach my mom how to feed him because I just want to have him for uh, the rest of his life. He's just been such a good snake, and he's just so nice to take out and just, you know, he's very friendly. He's cur he's a curious snake. When I was replacing his uh, bedding, I was like standing on that chair, uh, just like doing my thing. He's on the bed, and then every single time I look over, he's just getting closer and closer to me <laughs> with his head till he's just like he's sticking out his whole body across here till he just like touches me in the leg, and I don't even know what he was trying to do. Just sniff me, check me out. He's just a really nice snake. He's not. The thing is with these guys, you just, you want to keep it quiet, okay? You don't want to be like with a bunch of rowdy, maybe drunk friends. You don't, you don't want to provoke them. You want to be like really calm with your movements. You don't want to do any, any sudden movements. Like as far as snakes go, uh, it's all about body language. When this guy is about to eat or he's curious about food, his uh, eyes will dilate. Like if you keep an eye on his eyes, whenever he's interested in something, his his pupils will get huge, and that's kind of like a, a sign that, okay, yeah, he's curious, but then you just got to, like, let him sniff you. Like, see, look at this. You know, that not, my, not many snakes would be okay with this. So, he's just been such a great snake. And, uh, you know, if you're going to get one of these guys, just do your research. Know what you're getting into, because they are, they are not small. They grow fast, but they make great pets if uh, you're looking for a large snake. And just keep in mind, the females get way, way bigger. This guy will probably max out at, like, not much larger than this, while the females will go maybe up to, like, 9 or 10 feet, which is just massive. So, you know, haven't had any problems with this guy at all. He's just, he's just a great snake. And, yeah, so this was, this was your guys' update video. I hope you enjoyed it. And yeah, he, you know, I got hate like, oh yeah, Sterilite Tub's so small and whatnot. He really wasn't in it for that long and it was totally fine for the time being. And he's just, he's just a happy snake now. You know, the, the newspaper is good for him. He likes, he likes this little temporary hide box, you know. Yeah, he's just a, he's just a really great snake. And if anyone's got any questions, just go ahead and ask it in the comments section. But yeah, it was, a. Uh, it was good uh, showing you guys pickles here. So, hope you guys have a good day. Thanks so much. Comment, rate, and subscribe.